Going digital is the need of the hour. You have made your blog or your website or YouTube channel. You're just pushing out content, but nobody is actually watching it on their own. You have to promote it some way or the other. You have to spend your money, run the ads, and only then you, you're seeing some results. There is a way to get your content in front of people organically. And that, that process is called SEO, which is search engine optimization. And we, in this video, we're going to learn what exactly is SEO. Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek Yadav. Welcome to Backlink. SEO is the process of optimizing your website or your blog or your content to rank higher within search results. Throughout this video, our primary focus would be on Google as a search engine because 83% of the people in the world use Google as their primary search engine. Then there are other search engines like Bing and uh, YouTube as well. YouTube is a video search engine but it is ultimately owned by Google. So regardless, you, uh, if you want to make money using SEO or get traffic, you have to care about Google. So the point is forward that SEO is the process of optimizing your website to get on top in the top listings of Google. But what are the benefits? Why should you be caring about your SEO? Yeah. What to expect? Yeah. Because uh, what happens is when we pitch SEO to a lot of clients, they ask me questions like, how long does it take? How much does it cost? How many leads do I expect? Why should I invest in it? And all these questions are valid and I'm going to give an answer for it once and for all. So starting with the most important question, why should you care about it or why should you invest in SEO? So let's say you're a fashion brand or let's say you're a wedding planning company and uh, there are, pe so whenever people have to get their wedding planned, they will uh, make a simple Google search, let alone they gotten the referrals from their friends or friends but not most people would go to Google and type in best wedding planners in Mumbai. And if your website is ranking on top, within the top five or even on the first page, you are going to have the advantage that that lead is probably going to land to you. And then who knows, you probably convert it and make 10 lakh rupees worth of revenue. I don't know the wedding planning business, but you get the point. So yeah, first, uh, so for terms like best wedding planners in Mumbai, I'm sure there are 1000 people searching for it every single month. And I'm taking Mumbai as an example just, uh, just for this video and just because I'm based out of Mumbai. So it can be any city in Delhi, in Mumbai, uh, in, Mumbai in USA or anything, anywhere. Okay. So uh, there, there must be average of 1000 people looking for best wedding planners in Mumbai. And if your website shows up in the top three, so you are going to get that piece of traffic. And these 1000 leads, let's say even with a 5% conversion, we are looking at how many? 50? 50 odd clients coming to you every single month. How? Just because you invest in SEO. And 50 odd clients for a business like wedding planning, it definitely can make wonders to that business. And this is why you should care about SEO, because you can get leads organically. And another reason, um, another reason to care about SEO, let's say you're a t-shirt manufacturer, okay? And you look it up, how many people search for best t-shirt manufacturers in Mumbai? And let's say the number is very low. I'm not really sure, I have to check. But let's say there are only 50 people searching for it, okay? First of all, Google does not update its keyword data from time to time. And second of all, it is worth ranking for a keyword with even 50 search results and I'll explain why. One is just to flex and what I mean by that is you can go to a distributor or a client and just tell them, Ki, hey, I'm the best t-shirt manufacturer in Mumbai. You can look it up and when the person searches for best t-shirt manufacturer in Mumbai, they're going to see your website. Regardless, you're not getting the traffic from that particular thing but you're getting the trust factor okay because to, in today's day and age everybody does trust google and everybody wants a piece of google okay and yeah the second most obvious reason is that even though there are 50 leads let's say you land five customers i mean would those five customers mean anything to you they would right because a customer is a customer after all 
so yeah that these are i guess good enough reasons and also if you don't want to be left behind in your space you need to be investing in seo because if you aren't your competitor is and he is going to take all take away all the money that lies on page one of google search results so you should be doing it right now how long does it take so a lot of times people uh, so let me just put it out there that seo is not a game for short term results okay when you're doing seo you have to look at long term results if you if you're looking if you're serious about your business then you should definitely go for seo because in the long run see businesses take time to be profitable to develop to make an audience to get customers and let's say you're starting a new business you're like okay i have a new business i'm going to invest in seo when i am so big or when i have enough money to put in but what people don't realize is that it is one of the most important things they should be doing as of now with the baby steps of the business they should also launch their seo campaign so that once they are somewhere 6 months down their business they are developing it they are growing it their seo is going to grow as well if they started from the day one and how that will benefit is that uh their business is growing their seo is growing side by side simultaneously and seo uh, by the time they are experienced in the field seo is going to get them the customers or the leads and that's how you how, that's how you like catapult your business or get get a head start okay rather than starting right now figuring figuring it out in the first 6 months or 1 year and then starting an seo campaign waiting for another 6 months or 1 year you don't want to waste that those 2 years whereas you can do it from the day one okay so seo is basically a long term game if you're starting a campaign don't look at anywhere less than 6 months uh, or even if you do it's not going to be worth it so please don't waste your time seo is going to take time how much does it cost it does cost a lot because seo does not come for free nothing comes for free there's no free lunch and uh, seo will take a good seo campaign will take a lot of money time and effort how many leads to expect so this is a very uh, personalized question like this is uh, this depends de- depends from business to business but let's say i'll just give you the quick formula to calculate how many leads to expect uh, let's say there are about there is a keyword with 1000 search results you're going to be get uh, you're in the top 3 you're getting 70% of the clicks so that is about 700 people and out of those 700 people just assume 3% or 5% Five is an optimistic number, but let's say five percent would actually convert and become your clients, and those will be your leads. So you're looking at thirty-five odd leads or clients, but these will convert because they are coming from a targeted. They are coming with an intent. So let's say someone is looking for a best wedding planner in Mumbai, like in the previous example. So nobody is going to be searching for just for the best wedding planner in Mumbai, just like that, right? Yeah, let's say. Uh, yeah, five percent at least would be coming with an intent to buy or purchase. And if your website is in the top three, they are buying from you. How long will it take? Once you do the SEO, once you optimize your campaign, once your six months are over, you have ranked on number one. What's next? How long do you stay there? Now, this also depends on client to client or industry to industry because if you are in a competitive space, like let's say health or medical. there are other websites who are dominating this industry or let alone insurance or finance there are people like this is this is a uh, this is a red ocean market and uh, in this market you cannot expect results for a long time or else the other option is that you have to carry on your seo campaign day to day uh, like you you do you do not have to discontinue your seo campaign you have to continue it for a longer time because to stay on top like let's say to stay on top you still will have to invest a little of money okay so there are two types of seo mainly on page and off page okay on page seo is the cosmetic look and feel of the website what uh, so this on page seo deals with uh, how is your website back end which themes or plugins is it using is it up to date is it the latest framework uh, is it using php or uh, uh, you get the technical stuff right so on page also depends on uh, how how structured is your content huh? how how are people reading it 
how fast is your website loading uh abhi is your website responsive is your website responsive how does it load on a mobile or a tablet or a desktop and these are the factors that come into play when looking for on page seo so off page seo is a whole different ball game as compared to on page seo and uh, off page seo comprises of activities like backlink building okay and what exactly is backlink building it is like uh, let's say uh, you're a graphic designer and uh, a client a client of mine is looking for a person who can help him out with his graphic designs okay so i recommend you to my client so what i have done here is i have created a backlink between me and my client going to you so when websites talk about other websites they are generating backlinks okay so let's say you get featured in forbes okay so that featured mention when it's linking back to your website it is giving you a backlink and when google sees that forbes has recommended you it is going to rank you on top so somewhere this is the odd uh, picture of how off page seo works okay and uh, i will get into advanced off page seo and link building in much detail in further videos so stick around for that i guess we discussed everything about on page and off page seo what exactly is seo why should invest in it how long will it take and all the other questions that you had in mind so uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and um, so me so make sure to subscribe to our channel we are backlink uh, it's a digital marketing company based in mumbai if you need help with your seo uh, if you know someone who is weak at seo and needs to get their business online you can definitely re- refer them to us and we'll take care of the rest apart from seo we provide nine other services you can check out our website backlink.com i'll link it in the description i'll put it in the i button around here and uh, make sure to stick around for more videos I'll be pushing out content every two videos every single week. Thanks.